What up, everybody? The Commanders have won four in a row. They've scored 30 again. They're just an absolute freight train offensively. And what stands out to me by a freaking mile, Mitchell, is they didn't play all that well and dominated. They dominated this game. Welcome into Beltway Football Live. I'm JP Finley. That's Mitch Tischler. Uh, we are brought to you by MGM National Harbor. Commanders have won four in a row. Date with the Ravens next week. Dude. I mean, this is serious. We watched the first half here where it didn't feel like the commander's offense played particularly well. First half stats. So I grabbed these. All of a sudden you look up, it's 24 points on the board. Jaden was 11 of 21. So the, <laughs> the high level efficiency that we've grown accustomed to, yeah. you didn't see that. And the difference is Cleveland plays a lot of man. They've seen a lot of zone the last couple of weeks. So Jaden's able to pick those zones apart against the man. He had to hit kind of the home run plays. And guess what? He did. Like, I mean, there were so answering many, every question. There were so many times that Darius Smith would come around the edge, Jaden would elude him, and he would just be left on his knees on the ground, looking around like, "What is going on here?" Because Jaden was just a ghost to this uh, Browns defense. He kept making big plays. He kept eluding pressure. It was it was it was impressive. At halftime of this game, Jaden accounted for about 250 total yards, a touchdown. He did have the pick. He is so calm and in control throughout. They didn't really get the run game going that terrifically, but then it was the big plays. Yeah. Eckler's able to hit the big one. Terry's able to hit the big Jayden one. How about Jaden on fourth down Jayden, hits the big one? Dude, they, they've converted every fourth down they've tried all year. Jayden, yeah. every, all year. I think they're 8 of 8 or 9 of 9. There were four plays where where uh, the Browns had a free rusher coming at Jaden. He had two completions for 73 yards and two rushes for 63 yards. Dude, it's, imp it's impossible to believe that what we're watching on the field is a Washington Commander's offense.